Good afternoon, everyone. I am Lutra FM, as always, and this is our Rafe Rover save. Now, where you left us off last, we finished the season. We got through to the Scottish Cup semi final. We lost to Rangers 1 0, um, and that's that, really. So, yeah, so this is. I've, I've skipped forward a bit. There isn't really much to tell you about. We've made a few little sign ins that will come in, and I'll, I'll mention them in a minute, but. I just thought this would be a good time to start the next episode with the season review. So if we have a look on here. Um, yep, yeah, so we were champions with 93 points, 32 points more than Dunfermline. We only lost one, two, three league games all season. So uh, the board are more than happy. We got through to a, the Scottish Cup semi-final. Um, top goal scorer. I don't know why it says Jack. The reason why it says Jack Hamilton is simply because he scored loads of goals for the club he played for before us. He only played a couple games for us, and he, he did okay, but wasn't massively amazing. So um, I'm sending him out on loan for the season. Um, obviously, Hoyland was our best striker, but unfortunately, we can't. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll, hopefully, we can get him in on loan unless he rejects us. But uh, it'd be nice to have him for another season at least. Um, financially, we did well because obviously the uh, file that we've got gives us ridiculous amounts of money uh, for winning competitions. So uh, we only made 24000 in uh, merchandise sales. Fleck, uh, we only sold 490 shirts. That's 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 quite sad. Um, Fleck, Deli Ali, Danielle Maldini... Gail Kinder and Eduardo Lopez, I think his name is, uh, was our top merchandise sellers. Eduardo, there you go, it was close. Uh, our overall best 11 was Ruse in goal, Swanson as right back, Warner and Welsh as centre backs, Diate as the left back, Ball and Fleck in midfield, Lopez on the right, Dander in the middle, just behind Hoylands and Musquee. So, uh, Lewis Vaughan is no longer Mr. Rafe Rovers, unfortunately. Um, he was what they, he was technically our top goal scorer because Hoyland signed for Braga halfway through the season after his loan finish with us. So, um, it kind of resets it from there. But Hoyland technically was our top goal scorer. Um, but overall, Admiral Musqui was our player of the season. He got 11 goals, 14 assists, and he got how many? He got like seven man of the matches, average rating of 7.36. So, a very good season for him. In fact, we're going to offer him a new contract, I think. So, yeah. Swanson was the young player of the season, so I'm going to offer him um, in a minute. But he got six assists and uh, three man of the matches, which is pretty good because he only played 18 games for us. Uh, hopefully he'll become a our first team right back for the next three or four years. Dan got goal of the season. Most assists got uh, Musquee. And he also got the best average rating of the club. Um, did we any... He got the most assists for a player in the season as well. Rue's got 23 clean sheets, which is amazing. So that's about it, really. <laughs> Gail Kalishi become the oldest player at the club. Obviously, we left, we released him afterwards. Fastest goal was uh, Bajanaj uh, in one minute. He scored two goals in his debut game, from what I remember. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think there's anything worth mentioning here, so we'll just leave that. We'll just. Show you the finances, 86 million again because of the file I've got. We are due to make 208 million. So you never know, we might be able to bring the Scottish League up the rankings and stuff like that from it. Um, actually, in fact, how do I look at this again? Scottish club competitions. No, that's in Africa. I don't want Africa. Uh, Europe. Competitions. Yeah. Oh, how the hell do you look at uh, competitions? There we go. Leagues. 
There we go. Right, so where are we? So we'll just scroll. So we're at eighth at the moment. So we're better than the Belgian League, the Russian League, the Austrian League. Hopefully, eventually, we can go up a little bit here and just rise up slowly, hopefully, if we do well. If the Scottish teams like us do well, because obviously we're not the only team in Scotland to have money. Every team in Scotland will have money as they get on better in the league and in the cup. But um, it all depends on how the AI teams use that money. I don't have much faith in them doing very well. So, yeah, but... Uh, just ask them to upgrade. Oh, so we've signed, yep, so we've signed time at Thomas Ince. I feel like he's a typical player that we would sign. So, older, from the England, got a name for himself, even though it's like a, he's not like the biggest reputation, it's more because he's Paul Ince's son more than anything else, but he has he's had a decent career. He did well at places like Stoke at times. Where else has he played for? So he's played for... He was originally at Liverpool, then went to Notts County on loan, Blackpool, Crystal Palace, Hall, uh, Nottingham Forest, Derby County. I feel like he did well at Derby County from what I remember. And then he went to Stoke, well there, and then Reading for a bit, and then Watford. Did quite well at Watford in them two seasons. So we're coming towards the top, start of the transfer window. So this will be a live transfer window special. So the episode will finish when I finish, um, when the transfer window basically finishes, or, or when we get towards the first game of the season, I think. So uh, Hamilton got the Scottish Championship Player of the Season, which was quite good considering we signed him, I think, in January, and he only played three games for us. So it's basically based on his form from the first six months of the season, so fair play to him. Um, Hoyland and Hamilton were second places in the top goal scorer. Now, would it make sense for us to sign the top goal scorer in that league? Maybe. I win the manager of the season, which is good. Thank you very much. Uh, Warner, Ruse and Hoyland get into the championship team of the year. I'm just trying to be a little bit slower in this so it gives you time to read it before I click on it. Because I'm not too bothered, I'll just skip through it, but some people like to read these things. Ah, uh, he won't come to us. That's a shame. If we can't if if Hoyland if Hoyland rejects us, um we do need to get a good goal scorer. Hopefully he won't reject us. I think he would have done it by now if he was going to do that. Simmer would be a good replacement for him if we can't. We'll add him to the shortlist. Oh, he's a winger, so he wouldn't be a... He can play up front, but he wouldn't be a good replacement, I suppose. Right. Ray Rose are remarkably crowned championship... They're yeah, champions of the championship this week, so let's take a look at how Ronaldo Beckham's team performed throughout the season to achieve such a feat. So our XG was 2.21, which was the best in the league. Expected goals against per game uh, was the best in the league. Goals, everything was best, the best in the league, but uh, yeah, so that's that really. Try and bring him in. <laughs> Right, we're not far off towards the start of the transfer window. Hopefully Hoyland will come back. Oh, we need to get what well, Should we try and sign Welsh? I think he was a really good player for us. Let's try and sign him. Once it lets me. Where are you? Oh, no, they were uh, players out, not players in. Uh... Let me just let you know how Deli Ali did. Four goals, three assists in 12 games for us. He didn't play every game, but he contributed, I think. Alright, 
let's have a look. Let's do it by this. There we are, Stephen Welsh. Let's see if we can sign him and Warner. It'd be good to get both of these players in. Uh, is there anybody else we've got on loan that we could probably try and bring in? No. Poison won't come to us on a permanent deal. That's good. So Welsh will come to us and Warner. Oh, nearly, nearly messed up there. Too quick for me and good at times on here. Right, so hearts want dander. Uh, see if we can. I oh know we're already offering him a new contract, so that's fine. So we've had a work permit granted. No, sorry, work permit submit. Uh, yeah, application for a work permit, sorry. So we'll know in a few days whether we can successfully get uh, Hoyland back on loan for the season. Hopefully we can. If we just keep getting on a loan, eventually we'll sign him. He'll come to us eventually. I'll try and bring I'll try and sign him on a permanent deal in January, I think. Right, Musk we sign a new contract, that's good. Player of the season. Committed to the cause. Swanson signed a new contract, that's good as well. He's probably the best out of the two out of them. New scout in, Dan design new contracts, that'll keep him away from hearts, I think. Stephen Welsh has signed the con uh, signed for us as well. <laughs> Still bloody bunged up with this cold. I didn't have a coughing fit last night, so that's good. I slept well last night. Right, Stephen Welsh has signed for us then. Hoyland has successfully had his work permit agreed. For some reason, we're giving them the number six shirt, which is weird for a striker to have. So, yeah, Emma, Hoy uh, Emma Hoyland is here for another season, which is great news. He got quite a few goals for us last season, so it's good that we brought him back. Right, we've got a problem here. So, Diaz is probably better than, yes, he is better than Neville. There you go. We're slowly upgrading the coaching team. Could do with more coaches. Um, the board will only give me a certain amount at the moment. Hopefully that'll change. Work permits expires. Contra oh, so you can't uh, yeah. Okay. Squad planner. Uh, oh, I'll do this instead. Sorry. Right. Here we go. Where are you? There you are. Enter new contract. Hopefully we can get him a new contract before his work permit expires. Because that was the problem. That was the reason why we had to sell... Alioski and Collins Fay because work permit issues, which was annoying because they played quite a lot of games. So I don't I don't understand why they couldn't get a work permit to extend their stay here. Sorry, this is taking a while to save. There we go. Uh, I can't remember why I've got him on my staff shortlist, so I've just got rid of him. Right, this is the boring part, isn't it? Just getting through this as quickly as possible before the transfer window starts. I think the transfer window started, don't it? Right, so we've got quite a few players here released, so what I'm going to do is scout them all. Tom Lawrence is one that probably stands out. Liam Shaw in the one. Actually, let me see if I can go for Liam Shaw now. I can. Says he'll be a fringe player. I don't know about that. I think he's pretty good. Montgomery. Actually, let me just scout the rest. Tom Lawrence would probably be a good sign if we can get him in. 
star player. Very good creative player from what I remember him at Fulham and... Sorry, Derby, I apologise. Derby County. Yeah, former Man United youth player as well. So, that's good. All right. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Say Luke Warner is, yep, okay. Okay, Let's see what happens now. I would forward it like holiday a week at a time, but I just worry that I'll end something bad will happen if I do that, like a player will get sold or something on that line, so. That's why I'm doing it this way for now. Highly rated young player, Andrew Simpson. Get him on a new contract. Right, see if we can get more. No, we can't. So, is Gary Sweeney any better than the ones we got? He's better than him. Let's just double check. Yep, so there we go. Upgrading the staff slowly but surely. Hopefully that will help us when we're in the Scottish Premiership. Um, so yeah, they won't give me any more recruitment assistance. Uh, let's just adjust some of the transfer budget into the wage budget for now. Right, let's just have a look at the club vision. Sorry, club. Yeah, club vision. Yeah, they just want us to avoid relegation from the Premiership, basically. So, uh, work within the wage budget, grow the club's reputation, spend the original transfer budget, which we've basically done. So, yeah, I don't expect us to make many more signings now. Let's add DOF. Manages to sign an absolute worldy. I don't think it's going to happen. How did Dale Taylor do? We signed Dale Taylor in January. We sent him on loan to Swindon Town. He didn't do very particularly well. Pose a loan extension though. Hopefully he'll do better next season there. So we've increased the wage for a new director of football, which is good. See if we can increase the wage on the other stuff. Because you always want to get better stuff. Let's just do a staff search. Um, staff role, recruitment, DOF. Attributes, DOF. DOF, sorry. So we've got nobody that fits that criteria, so we'll do that. Anybody there? There we go. Uh, we don't want coaching attributes, we want mental attributes. Do that. So, what's his negotiation? Oh, that's pretty good. We'll bring him in. I think he's an improvement on our current DOF. Let me just check. He should be. Yeah, he's. Oh my god, I'm releasing him straight away. Oh my god, no wonder we've not been doing very well with recruitment. That was... I'm annoyed at myself for not knowing about that. Swindon's come in for a new offer. Uh, loan offer, hopefully. Uh, Warner's had his initial work permit rejected, but we've appealed it. So let's see how we get on with that. The board has let us increase loan manager, technical manager, and also let us have more recruitment uh, recruitment uh, analysts. So we'll just quickly do this. Uh, head of recruitment, performance analysis. Oh yeah, head of recruitment retired, Willie McStay. Um, I did bring in, well I didn't, the, the, the technical director Peter Reid brought in Foreman Motherwell. Manager as the assistant manager, so that's our new assistant manager. I wouldn't say it's much of an upgrade on that on the one we had before, but he's driven. Um, 
He's good with management. People management. Oh, that's good. That's more pro that's progressive, isn't it? it? Used to be man management. So that's pretty progressive. Is star uh, player potential is not very good, but I don't really get my deal. Right? I, I don't really get my assistant manager to do with stuff with that. Motivating's good. He's decent with uh, working with youngsters. Technical knowledge isn't too bad, so it should be all right. Uh, right, not much here, really. I'll just pick that one. I think these are made up teams. Actually, I'm going to reject them. I'm not going to do it. Must be got to do with one of the files that I've got. Basically, gives <laughs> basically all these teams in Scotland are named after na uh, national teams, which is really which is really weird. So we've got a new head of uh, youth recruitment, and he's really good. So that's that's really good. We just need to change responsibilities. I think not staff. Uh, <clears throat> uh, get advice from. Oh, maybe him. No, we'll leave it as him. Get advice from him, and then development. Him. Him. Uh, yeah, that one. Player manager. Coaching. Probably him. Uh, he's slightly better. Right. Scouting. We don't need to change that. Transfers. Do we need to change that? No. Media, we need to do. What am I on about? Um, uh, no, transfers. We've got Peter Reed in control of that. We'll change that. Oh, we can't. Oh, I'm going to do this in a minute once we get a director of football in, and then I'll change both. Sorry about that, everyone. It was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? Uh, I hope you're enjoying the content. Thank you for the people who've been watching. The last couple of videos have not been uh, doing very well, so uh, let me know in the comments section. Uh, good and bad feedback, I do appreciate it. But thank you to the people who are watching this regularly, I do appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series. I know there's a lot to digest because it's an episode like every day. But I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. I watch, I used to watch a lot more, but I watch, um, I try and watch Lelujo stuff every day. I don't watch many other uh, FM YouTubers recently. Um, I watch more GTA roleplay stuff now. I quite enjoy watching that. All right, so Liam Shaw's in. Uh, we do have a new director of football. So I think we need to change this slightly. I oh, know we don't need to change that. Scouting, we probably need to do that. Yep, so that's fine. Let's tick around with this. Very boring, I know. Once it's done, it's done. We don't need to worry about it for a while. Then. But we've we've vastly improved the recruitment team now with the DOF and the head of youth recruitment being a massive improvement on what we had already. So that can only be a good thing. Uh, training, no. Training, yeah, actually, because head of youth recruitment will probably be in control of training for the youth team. Yeah, so there you go. So the youth team should get better now. Tactics, I don't think we need to change anything there, but I'll just do that. Match. Uh, I think we just need to come down here. No, 
You don't need to do that. So that's, that's that. So that's it. Right, let's carry on. So Dale Taylor's gone on loan. Got three players in international duty. We're doing well. Creating international players. All right, Warner's had his work permit approved, so that's good. When does he, when does Warner come in? Uh, is he already here? No. It should take you down here, shouldn't it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's just carry on. Jamie Forrest, hmm, might be interesting. He's a good player, but we'll add to the shortlist. Nicky Devlin, former Hearts player. We could have a Dean player, I apologise. No, he used to play Hearts, didn't he? Robert Ambright. No, he didn't. Why, why, why do I think maybe there's another Devlin? Anyway, good experienced players is what we could do with, especially Scottish ones as well. Scott Wright would be a good sign here. Be good for like mentoring as well for the young players coming through because eventually I don't really want to just sign loads of foreign players, loads of older players. I want to try and build a team of youth young players, but they've got to be good enough to sign. Now, he was good for us last season. I don't know if I want to send him out alone. Actually, yeah, better. Let's sign a new contract first. That's not good, is it? Do I sell him? Mm. I'm going to sell him. Controversial, I know, but if he's on the, if he's, if he's not, if he's going downhill, we're better off to sell him now before he completely goes downhill so we can make a little bit of money on him. Right, we've got too many physios, so he's got a certain rating. He's, hold on, let me just check that again. 16, yeah, so he's only got 13, so he could be out. Let's just check, yep. There we go. Vastly improved the physio team now. Tom Lawrence has agreed to negotiate with us. Yep, Tom Lawrence, Tom Lawrence is here. That's good. Fairly determined, be a good mentor for the older players, younger players, sorry. Where is training? There we go. Let's do that. Mentoring. So we've added him to the mentoring groups. Ah, here we go. We're coming to the start of the window, start of the transfer window now. Actually, what I'm going to do is next episode will be transfer window special. So we'll finish this episode as it's nearly half an hour in. In a minute, we'll just do this. So what we'll do is, like, well, this will be part one of transfer window special, and then we'll do part two tomorrow. So that's good. All right, try and send you that on loan. <coughs> right there. Oh, we're coming up to my uh, my uh, no, was, oh, well, well, my birthday basically. We're coming up to my birthday on the game, my real life birthday. Um, ah, uh, Scott Wright went to QPR. Right then, on that note, I'm going to save it here. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you to everyone who's watching. I know this is not not had much going on in this episode, but the transfer window ones usually are quite standard, really. So, right, I'll leave you to it, and we'll be back with part two of the transfer window special tomorrow. All the best. Bye.